Okay, ready for some quantum mechanics? In 1927, Werner Heisenberg proposed that there were something he called complementary variables. At a quantum level, these are variables that you can only measure one or the other with any accuracy. And as you measure one more accurately, it limits your ability to measure the other. This is the uncertainty principle or the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It's the reason why in Star Trek, their transporters have a Heisenberg compensator to sort of techno magic their way past the inability to exactly measure everything about a particle. If you've taken quantum mechanics, you've probably seen something that looks a little bit like this. Sigma x times sigma p is greater than or equal to the reduced Planck constant over 2. So sigma x is the standard deviation of your measurement of position. Sigma p is your standard deviation of your measurement of momentum. So as that standard deviation gets smaller, as your measurement gets more accurate of one of those two variables, the other one has to get less accurate to keep that number greater than this Planck constant. Sometimes you get this mixed up with the observer effect, which is that the act of observing a quantum mechanical situation causes effects just in the act of observing. And I'm certainly going to tangle those two things up as I talk my way through some of this right now. What I'm going to suggest is that within the leader of game development, there are also complementary variables, and that these complementary variables are definitely affected by the observer effect. The complementary variables I'm going to suggest are a measurement of what a team is doing and a measurement of the velocity of that team. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is if you are becoming overly concerned about measuring the velocity of your teams, you can potentially lose the ability to measure exactly what they're working on because you're becoming so focused on ticking tick boxes that you lose the ability to actually inspect the quality of their work and make sure they're even doing the right things because you're just measuring velocity. There's a saying that you get what you measure. And I think that's exactly what we're talking about here is that if you over focus on velocity, you get velocity, but you don't necessarily get quality or even the correct tasks being done. And the reverse is also true. This is why I'm suggesting that this is a complementary set of variables. If you over focus on exactly what a team is doing, you're going to lose the ability to measure velocity or maybe even stated more strongly you're going to reduce that team's velocity because you're going to be so focused on the quality of every single thing that they do of making sure that they're doing exactly the right things that team is losing the ability to do things for the sake of speed and that's going to actually reduce their velocity so i guess i'm actually stating something even more strongly than the standard uncertainty principle formula what I'm actually saying is the act of measuring one of these two complementary variables isn't just going to reduce your certainty on the other. It's actually going to just reduce the other. If you become too focused on what your team is doing, you're going to reduce their velocity in the act of measurement. If you become too focused on the team's velocity, you're going to reduce the quality and applicability of what they're doing as they're hyper focused on just delivering velocity. Okay, let's step back and take a look at the original uncertainty equation again. We have position and momentum. And you know, those might actually be better than what I've just been talking about. Position is where your project or feature is at. It's quality, the contents of of it from a feature perspective. Momentum is actually a better term for what the industry calls velocity because momentum is velocity times mass. And that's what you're really measuring because it includes a sense of the mass of what is being delivered, not just the velocity of delivery, but the mass of what's being delivered as well. So 
I feel like momentum is actually a better term for the movement of your team than velocity. Not that I expect I'm going to be able to change the way that the industry talks about it, but I do think that it actually encapsulates what is being talked about better than velocity alone does. So what's the answer? As with many things, the answer is to try to strike a balance between focusing only on velocity and focusing only on quality. There needs to be both meeting somewhere in the middle to get your teams to be working to their best ability to deliver both quality, but at a quantity that's acceptable. I originally had this formula proposed, sigma w times sigma v is greater than or equal to d over two, where sigma w is your standard deviation of your measurement of what is being done. Sigma v is your standard deviation of the measurement of the velocity of the team. And then d is the dera constant measured in deras. But as we've just discussed, I actually think that there's something more there, more about the observer effect than it is a about the uncertainty principle, where the act of measuring is actually having an impact upon the other variable directly through the act of measurement. But I do think the uncertainty equation is still valuable. And I think we can move back to the original sigma variables of position of your feature and momentum of your team, because as we just discussed, I think those may represent better what's actually going on. And as long as we're at it, we might as well drop the the two since dera as a constant is a made up number anyway just factor the two in there and we get a much simpler equation of sigma x times sigma p is greater than or equal to d the dera constant so what have we learned one that a feature or a project in video game development are much like particles in quantum mechanics. The uncertainty principle applies there and that the complementary variables remain like they are in quantum mechanics, position and momentum, just that position is the state of a feature or project, and momentum is the speed at which the feature or project is moving forward. And second, we should stop calling the throughput of a team velocity and start calling it momentum because it is more accurate to what is actually being measured. This is arguably the most first cup of tea in this entire series so far. If you found this interesting, if you've enjoyed me dragging out the little bit of quantum mechanics that I've taken. Give this video a thumbs up so other people can see it. A special thanks to my members. They help keep this channel running. If you are interested in becoming a member, there's a link below in the description. If there are other random topics that you would be interested in seeing me talk about for five or six minutes, let me know down in the comments. If, for example, you want me to try to connect Pelegra to video game development, I suspect I could probably do five minutes on that. I will see you again soon. Thank you.